What's up guys welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to enable Nanite on your foliage, you know on your trees, bushes, etc. It's going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. Alright so um, right now I have here my um, model for my tree. So we are going to be basically uh, enabling Nanite on this mesh over here. Now before this was not possible. Um, basically because of how Nanite worked in different ways, but now with the new version of 5.1 We can finally enable Nanite on trees and stuff So let me show you how you can enable Nanite on this one So right now if I go ahead and drag it into the scene, this is just a normal mesh It is absolutely huge <laughs> as you can see and um, if I go right now into a uh, perspective Sorry lit here um, Nanite visualization into triangles you can see that right now, nothing in the scene is with Nanite, so we cannot see anything. So let me go back in lid. Now, there are two ways to convert it into Nanite. Um, the first way is just to go into the asset, right click, go to Nanite and enable it. Or you can actually go into the mesh and then in here you can just click on enable Nanite support. So this is what we get to do. Just right click, sorry, click that and then just apply changes. And if we wait some seconds, you will see that if we go back into our uh, what was compiling, you know, the materials and etc. again. Okay, so you can see that it basically compiled all the shaders. And now, if I go into here, into the nanite visualization triangles, you can see our nanite trees with all the triangles up. So let me go ahead and put this in full screen, so you can see in more detail. Um, you can see all the triangles of nanite working right in here now with this tree right now i'm not having any problems but the thing is that in some cases if you go very far away um you will see that basically the leaves will start disappearing or something in my case with the model it's not occurring but it could happen to you so if you have this issue in order to solve it you can go into the model and to nana settings you can just click here in this new check that appears in 5.1 which is preserve area so if you go ahead and enable this and just apply changes and go back, um, if you were to have that issue, um, it will have fixed. Okay, so the leaves will be good in any distance possible. Now you can see the performance for some reason is going very well, uh, like very far away. And when I get closer, um, you know, there's a terrible frame rate uh, for yeah some strange reason. I don't really know why there's such low uh, frame rate. So this is really cool. Now, if I were to go ahead and create a new landscape and, you know, start painting a lot of uh, trees, go ahead and create a landscape and then go into the foliage mode and were to drag my tree into here. That's a lot. Uh, let's put this on 0.1 and then here on five and then make the brush a bit bigger. Yeah, it's a bit better. You can see how I started placing a lot of trees. And if I go into my show fps over here you will see that i'm hitting right now 30 fps now be aware that i'm also recording and stuff um but yeah uh so you can see that i'm having like 30 fps right now and if i start painting more you will see that right now i'm getting around 20 fps so there's definitely some impact now the thing is that right now we don't have lots we can have like basically we are rendering the tiniest leaf on the distance over there is because of the power of nanite so it is pretty amazing what we can achieve with this now if i were to get closer the frame rate starts low lowering a lot um but you know this is also because you know many reasons i'm recording my pc is a bit old right now and you know there's many reasons about this but basically like this you can go ahead and enable nanite on your foliage so yeah guys i hope this tutorial was helpful i will appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials at like this one and yeah leave a comment on other you know, unreal engine 5 tutorials you want to see and um with all i said bye bye Bye.